Cygnus CRS Orb 3, also known as Orbital Sciences CRS Flight 3 or Orbital 3, was an attempted flight of Cygnus, an automated cargo spacecraft developed by United States based company Orbital Sciences, on 28 October 2014. The mission was intended to launch at 6.22 p.m. that evening. This flight, which would have been its fourth to the International Space Station and the fifth of an Antares launch vehicle, resulted in the Antares rocket exploding seconds after liftoff. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft This would have been the third of eight flights by Orbital Sciences under the Commercial Resupply Services contract with NASA. This was the first attempted flight of the Antares 130, which uses a more powerful Castor 30XL second stage, and the last flight of the standard-sized Cygnus pressurized cargo module. In an orbital sciences tradition, this Cygnus spacecraft was named Dickey Slayton after one of NASA's original Mercury 7 astronauts and director of flight operations, who died in 1993. <laughs> <laughs> Launch and early operations The mission was scheduled to launch on 27 October 2014 at 2245 Coordinated Universal Time from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at the Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops Island, Virginia, with rendezvous and berthing with the ISS early in the morning on 2 November. This was the first nighttime launch for both the Antares launcher and Cygnus spacecraft. The launch was scrubbed due to safety concerns of a sailboat entering the exclusion zone less than 10 minutes before launch. A 24-hour delay was put in place, with the next launch opportunity scheduled for 22 hours 22 minutes and 38 seconds Coordinated Universal Time on 28 October 2014. Topic. Launch failure. The Antares rocket carrying the Orb 3 Cygnus launched as scheduled from Launch Pad 0A on 28 October 2014. Fifteen seconds after liftoff a failure of propulsion occurred in the first stage. The vehicle began falling back to the launch pad and the range safety officer engaged its flight termination system just before impact. The resulting explosion was felt in Pocomoke City, Maryland, 20 miles, 32 kilometers away. The fire at the site was quickly contained and allowed to burn itself out overnight. Initial review of telemetry data found no abnormalities in the pre launch, the launch sequence, and the flight, until the time of the failure. In a press release, NASA stated that there were no known issues prior to launch and that no personnel were injured or missing, but that the entire payload was lost and there was significant damage to the launch pad. On 29 October 2014, teams of investigators began examining debris at the crash site, while a survey the same day found that there was no serious damage to the launch pad and site fuel tanks, although repairs would be required. Subsequent investigation found that the LOX turbopump had exploded, although a specific reason for the failure could not be determined. Possible causes were a defective pump bearing, ingestion of loose debris, or a manufacturing defect. Topic. Payload Orb 3 carried a variety of NASA manifested payloads, some determined fairly late in the days before the launch. The Cygnus cargo vehicle carried 2,215 kilograms (4,883 pounds) of supplies and experiments meant for the International Space Station. It included some CubeSats to be launched from the station. Topic: Flock 1D. Planet Labs was launching Flock 1D, its next flock of 26 Earth observation nanosatellites. 
After the accident they stated that this would not set them back due to their approach to space involving many satellites in various constellations. Arkid 3 ARCID-3 was a 3U CubeSat technology demonstrator from private company Planetary Resources PRI. PRI had packaged a number of the non-optical satellite technologies of its larger ARCID-100 telescope satellite. Essentially the entire base of the ARCID-100 satellite model revealed in January 2013, but without the space telescope, into a cost-effective box of ARCID-3, or A3, for early in-space flight testing as a subscale nanosatellite. The ARCID-3 testbed satellite was packaged as a 3U CubeSat form factor of 10 times 10 times 30 cm 0.33 times 0.33 times 0.98 feet. PRI contracted with Nanorax to take the A3 to the ISS where it was planned to be released from the airlock in the Kibo module. The subsystems to be tested included the avionics, attitude determination and control system, both sensors and actuators, an integrated propulsion system that will enable proximity operations for the ARCID line of prospectors in the future, this near term attempt to validate and mature the planetary resources satellite technology was planned to launch in October 2014, before launch and flight test of the ARCID-100 in 2015. Other payloads CRS Orb 3 was carrying 18 student experiments designed to investigate crystal formation, seed germination, plant growth, and other processes in microgravity as part of the Student Spaceflight Experiments program. It also carried the first open source Ardulab powered student experiments. Two amateur radio CubeSats, RACE and GOMX2, were on board, among other satellites. On board GOMX2 were two payloads. One payload was a Pathfinder experiment for the small photon entangling quantum system designed by the Center for Quantum Technologies. The other was a sail break experiment to remove a CubeSat from orbit by increasing aerodynamic drag. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Failure analysis and aftermath. With some preliminary investigation completed, Orbital cited the cause of the Orb 3 launch failure as likely being a turbopump failure in one of the Aerojet Rocketdyne AJ-26 engines, a refurbished Russian NK-33 engine. A NASA report from the failure investigation was released in October 2015. Although NASA and Orbital agree that the turbopump failed, they differ as to the root cause machining or debris. By January 2015, repairs to the Wallops flight facility began, they were completed in the fall of 2016. To meet its commercial resupply services obligations with NASA, Orbital launched two enhanced Cygnus cargo spacecraft via Atlas V launch vehicle. CRS OA 4 Dickey Slayton 2 in December 2015 and CRS OA 6 Rick Husband in March 2016 while a new engine was selected and tested for the Antares launch vehicle Orbital had been conducting an evaluation and review of an AJ26 replacement engine prior to the incident and in the year following the explosion they selected the Energomash Road 181 the export version of the Road 191 to replace the AJ26 on Antares The Russians selected this same engine Road 193 to replace the NK33 engine used on Soyuz 2 the redesigned Antares launch vehicle flew again in 2016. Topic manifest total cargo: 2,215 kilograms, 4,883 pounds. Science investigations: 727 kilograms, 1,602.8 pounds. 
U.S. Science, 569 kilograms, 1,254.4 pounds. International Partner Science, 158 kilograms, 348.3 pounds. Crew Supplies, 748 kilograms, 1,649 pounds. Equipment, 124 kilograms, 273.4 pounds. Food, 617 kilograms, 1,300. 60.3 pounds flight procedure books 7 kilograms 15.4 pounds vehicle hardware 637 kilograms 1404.3 pounds US hardware 606 kilograms 1335.4 pounds JAXA hardware 30 kilograms 66.1 pounds spacewalk equipment 66 kilograms 145.5 pounds computer resources 37 kilograms 81.6 pounds command and data handling equipment 34 kilograms 75 pounds photography TV equipment 3 kilograms Kilograms six six pounds total cargo with packing material two thousand two hundred ninety four kilograms five thousand fifty seven pounds. Topic Gallery Topic See also VSS Enterprise crash, which occurred a few days after the Orb 3 crash SpaceX CRS-7, another commercial resupply service mission that experienced a launch failure